It seems to be a normal day at the house of the Hamilton family. Here we have Patrick, the family's father. He is 43 and usually a confident man. He surely needs it in his job. He works as a car dealer. His used car dealership is known to be the best one in Houston, Texas. However, not everyone likes him. Hi, Jeff. Oh, hi, Pat. It is, well, a pretty tolerable day today. This is Jeff Moeller. He is another one of the biggest used car dealers in Houston. However, him and Patrick don't get along. Maybe it's because Jeff is a Democrat while Pat's an anarcho-capitalist with support for the Republican Party? I don't really know. Now however we will not be getting into that anyways, since Patrick just got home from work. Hi everyone. I had a pretty decent day at work. Hi Daddy. Oh hi Aaron. Here we have Aaron, Patrick's youngest son. He's five years old and a pretty playful little boy. How was your day at kindergarten? Pretty cool. We made a trip to the zoo. Really? Awesome. And how has your day been? Neither too boring nor too stressful. I sold several cars, including two used Toyota Camrys and I fixed a 90 Porsche 911. At least you're making lots of money. Yeah, otherwise we wouldn't have our house and all that. I'm so glad that you're my daddy. Ah, that's so sweet of you kiddo. But now I have to go to the kitchen. Hi honey. How was work? This is Catherine, Patrick's wife who was born in Germany. Her and Patrick have been married for nearly 22 years now, but even after all that long time of marriage there still are problems. While Patrick usually is a calm guy who hates senseless arguments, Catherine sadly often causes such. Last week when they were at a restaurant and figured all Kath did was complaining because Patrick supposedly had selected a bad table. In general, she loves looking for a reason to complain, but she is a great cook and enjoys being a mother. Also she sees Patrick as a great father, so even after all they still belong together, don't they? You're home earlier than usual. Yeah, for strange reasons it did not get into a traffic jam today. Not that I would complain about that. Now the only issue is that the dinner isn't ready yes. Never mind, then I'll help you. What were you gonna make? Something from my home country. Schnetzel is with rice. Ah, haven't eaten them for a while. Twenty years ago I would have never thought that I would love the German kitchen. Hi dad. Hi son. Here we have Joseph, Patrick and Catherine's oldest son. He only partially lives with his parents since he is already 20. He lives in an apartment not far from his parents' house together with his wife Kylie. He goes to college and is doing a very good job. He has good grades without learning much. How are things going? Pretty good. Me and Kylie will be going to play some basketball after dinner. Well, Joe, unlike other people at his age, does not spend most of the day in front of his computer or TV. He does lots of sports and also will soon be joining the military. Okay, but are you going to stay over here tonight or go back to your apartment? I honestly don't know yet. I am glad that you are still a huge part of the family unlike most other people at your age. Yeah, but let's not make a big deal out of it. That would be embarrassing. I myself am an adult and see a responsibility in myself. Well, that should be taking time into yours and Kylie's marriage. I find it to be the best if the children live with their parents until they form their own families. I'm in agreement with your father. Your friend Eugene's doing the same thing. Hope you didn't get me wrong. I enjoy being together with the rest of my family, but it should be clear that I am a man, not a boy. You also were very young when I was born. Correct, but it is not about age, rather when we feel ready. We honestly didn't feel ready yet. We even thought of having an abortion, but then we changed our minds. And we make the right choice. I also would agree there. I honestly find abortion disquieting. And I'm glad me and Kendra are old enough to vote. Two more votes for President Trump. If you now are triggered by their political views, then you are free to leave. But I hope you will keep watching. We should be proud of our oldest son already being that mature for his age. Yeah, that's true. Hi Damon. How has your day been? Hey Dad. 
Here we have Damon, the middle son and third of Patrick and Kath's children. He is 16 and was diagnosed with severe autism as a child. He did not talk until he was 5. Damon can lose his temper easily, but he also is a very intelligent person. You should never underestimate him. I had a pretty nice day as I was going outside together with Sandra and Diani after school. Good to hear. I will have to help your mother to prepare dinner now. We will call you when it's time for time for it. That was an awesome trip to the park. I totally agree with you, honey. Here we have Kendra, the 18-year-old daughter and second child of Patrick and Kath, as well as her 17-year-old boyfriend Benjamin Marshall. Kendra is a pretty creative teenage girl respectively young woman, if you will. She spends lots of time with drawing and writing stories. Hi Kendra. Good you are home now. I know that you've been on a trip to the park with Benjamin after high school. Hi mom. Aren't you usually preparing dinner on Friday evening? No, today your father's doing that. And nice to see to Benjamin came with you. Thanks Kath. You're welcome. Meanwhile Joe's hanging around with his fiancée Kylie Fallimer as well as with Eugene 12 and Genesis Man. It's a pretty good day today at Houston Beach. You can say that mate. It's October now, but still warm enough to go swimming. Hi Dave. Hi Joe and all others. Just leave me the heck alone. What's the matter? My dad decided that me and my younger brother Anthony had to share one computer from now on. Well, I want you, but you wouldn't listen. That happens if you subscribe to socialism. Shut up Eugene. Here's the thing, look at socialist countries like Venezuela. All people cannot be simply made equal. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we have to accept the president's crack when it comes to taxes. Well, then I don't see a problem at all. Texas has lower taxes than blue states like California. Then why do we have to pay for cafeteria lunches now? Simple as that. It's impossible to please everyone. Without enough money a state will sooner or later collapse, if you see what happened to the Soviet Union. Joe, you deserve the least of respect. Your dad ruins the business of mine. Well, my dad is an intelligent person who can work hard. He however never makes a big deal out of it. He just understands that he needs lots of money for a big family. Seriously, can't we move on from damn politics? Finally someone who thinks my way. Alright, but still... I'm afraid Dad's seeking for revenge. We indeed cannot force anyone how to run his company. But I think that it is only fair if everyone gets what he deserves. But let this be a thing between our fathers, not the sons. Fair enough. Hold on for a minute or two folks. My phone's ringing. Hi Dad. I think I know why you call me. Yeah, I almost expected that dinner must be ready within the next few minutes. I'll be home within the next 10 minutes. Bye. Sorry, gotta go now. Okay, but before you go, one more thing. And that would be? Don't underestimate my dad. He's really furious at Patrick and can't wait to get his revenge. Okay, we'll see. Now this sounds a lot like a threat from Dave Moeller, doesn't it? But does he really mean it? If yes, then this could turn out into an adventure. Hey everybody, Joe. I hope I'm about to start. But somebody's still missing. Your ISIS. Where's Lily? Oh great. Is she trying to ditch dinner again? I'll be right back. Duh. Not this crap again. Here we have the one family member we nearly forgot about, Lily, who is 14 and therefore the fourth of the five children of Patrick and Catherine. She is, to be honest, a typical 14-year-old, deep into puberty, complaining about the president. A mediocre student. Now don't get me wrong, she's a good person, but she can be pretty annoying. Like in this situation.
Yes. Lily, didn't you hear your mother calling? It's dinner time now. But I'm not hungry. Yes, but that doesn't matter. Dinner time should always mean family time. I said I don't want to come. Lily and Victoria Hamilton. Seriously now. It's dinner time now, period. What if I say no? Young lady, I doubt that it is the right thing to play games with your parents. But dad. Fine, I won't be taking this any longer. It's up to you. But then don't complain again in case we have beaten everything. We won't allow to have Bartina ruined. What's going on? Honey, Lily once again refuses to eat with us for unknown reasons. Unbelievable. What an naughty girl. Seriously, I also had been hit hard by puberty at her age, but that doesn't mean that I disobey my parents that far. Seriously, Lily, you cannot just make your own rules. You still live with us. Also, you gotta improve a lot in school. You should allow Joe and Kendra to help you. Dad, now we're switching the subject from dinner to school. Seriously. Actually, it is not switching the subject. In general, it has affected your behavior badly, which is sad. Fine. I don't think I'll be receiving an answer from you. It is your choice whether or not to come. I'm sick of wasting my time on it and the dinner is getting cold anyways. With other words, overall the Hamiltons are a pretty normal family. Pretty every Sircond family has a member that doesn't get along with the others at all, ha <laughs> ha. I'll go open up. Oh, hi, Dave. What are you doing here late at evening? Hello, Mr. Hamilton. I just had an argument with my dad. Oh, well. What was it about? Well, it was about the fact that me and my brother don't want to share the same computer. Yeah, I understand. Did you already have dinner? No, but... If so, then I have no problem with you eating with us. No, but... I don't think that you're experienced enough to understand economy. Even though, has your father not taught you about this yet? Well, no. But I'm only 19 anyways. Never mind. Just come to the living room. Folks, we have a guest today who will have Lily's portion. Okay, honey. Who is it? Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, Dave. What you doing here at our house in the evening? He said he had an argument with his father. And why? No offense, Aaron, but I think you are a little too young to understand. Well, it seems to be because of an argument with his brother on his computer. Yeah, true. I can't deny that. But seriously, I'd warn you not to underestimate my father. Sorry, folks, but I got a call. I'll be right back. Hamilton here. Hello, my name is Diesel Sinclair. Oh, hi, Mr. Sinclair. I know that you bought a 2004 Toyota Camry last week. Is everything okay with it? Actually, it is a total disaster. Engine and battery collapsed before I got home. And you said it was like it was new? What? I'm sorry about that, Mr. Sinclair. Sorry, so don't do it. I want my money back. Okay, okay. Come over to the Silver Avenue 7 tomorrow and we will discuss it. Bye. I shouldn't be so devastated over it, it happens every here and there. But to me it never happened in the last 10 years, I'm not used to it at all. What's the matter, Daddy? Kendra, I know I shouldn't be worried over it, but I just received an upset call from a customer who received his car in a damaged condition. Maybe that customer is just an asshole who loves to complain. I don't think so. He sounded really angry. And that for a good reason. I wonder how such thing could happen to me. This can happen to everyone. But I never made such a mistake before. Now I could be ruining my good call. Hey Patrick and Kendra, please come back here or your dinner will be getting cold. Sorry for what happened honey. But you shouldn't worry about it too much. What actually happened? Dad's in a bad mood over a customer's complaint. 
Let's not forget that customers can be extreme assholes. Dave, I'm afraid that ain't the main problem this time. Unless the customer played a prank on me, I'm afraid I really messed up this time. I cannot simply blame someone else. But now it's time to forget about all this crap and enjoy our dinner, which isn't just eating, but also a social event. Yeah, but our main focus still should be our dinner. That that cooked this time. Yeah, I nearly forgot. Seriously? You forgot that I cooked? I don't think you should have said that, Mom. Sorry, folks, but I think we'll go to bed earlier today. But, Daddy, you've only eaten one portion. I'm not really hungry, since I'm just disappointed of myself right now. I also wonder what could have been behind this. Son, there was nothing behind it. I simply messed up and next Monday I will simply make up for my mistake and talk about it with Mr. Sinclair. But let's enjoy the weekend first. On the next day. And I don't want no one to cry. But tell them if I don't survive. I was born free. I was born free. I had a surprisingly peaceful night. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Joe. You're already up. Yeah. I honestly didn't sleep much last night, though. Was it because of that customer? You got it. Son, you shouldn't worry about it that much. I also firsted, but then I realized that I made a dumb mistake. It's not a nice experience, but it's best to learn from it and move on. Yeah, I forgot. Anyways, I'm gonna prepare for breakfast now. A good breakfast is important on a nice sunny Saturday morning. Oops, I nearly forgot that we have no bread rolls left. I gotta get to the baker. I can do that for you, Dad. Thanks, son. Hey! Is this driver nuts? Hey! Did you moron win your license in the lottery? Just shut up. Wait. Joe Hamilton. Jeff Meller. I hope you're doing okay. Yes I am. How's your dad doing? Everything's just going normal in our family. Well, glad to hear. By the way, Dave had been at our house yesterday. Yeah, I already expected that. After he had a fight with me and his brother over the computer issue, he just ran away without informing us. Meanwhile... Now I notice the two yogurts are gone. Two days ago Kathy bought seven yogurts and yesterday, when all of them were still left, I ate mine. But now only four are left. Strange. Good morning, Pat. Good morning, honey. What's the matter? I just realized that there are two yogurts missing. Oh, oh yeah, strange indeed. I maybe just forget them. But let's simply prepare dinner together, no matter who ate the yogurts. Catherine seems to sound nervous. Is she maybe hiding something? R, are you sure that you are doing okay, honey? Yes, I am. Okay. I... I just wanted to check. Fair enough. I appreciate that but do not need it. Good morning, Daman. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, son. What's up? Nothing. Seems to be just a normal Saturday morning. Good morning, everyone. Have you seen Joe? Good morning, Kendra. He should be back soon. He is out buying bread rolls. Sorry, Mr. Meller, but I gotta go now. My family's gonna be upset if I don't get to the baker. Alright then, I must admit it's nice talking to you. I'm not sure if I should say that you're like your father, but first I would like to tell you something. What? I hate to say this, but I need to have a discussion with your father this weekend. Seriously? Why? Sorry, but I am afraid it's none of your business. Oh crap. My family asked why I'm taking that long. I got to get to the bakery now. Bye. Bye. What's the matter, Joe? Well, I met Mr. Miller. Is that why you're pretty late? 
He says he wants a conversation with you. Gee, he always wants that. But he's a pretty inconsistent business partner. I thought you were rivals. Of course they are. And he is trying everything to spoil dad's business. Okay, I'll go open up. Oh, hi, Mr. Mella. I would love to talk with your husband. Well, I already knew that. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. What? Did I hear correctly? Hi there. Um, why are you here? Did you finally go bankrupt? That's not funny. Um, do you not want to come in? No, thanks. How about we go outside? All right, then. All right. What is the reason for the discussion you want to have with me? Well, how should I say? Just do. I don't bite. I'm not so sure about that. Sounds like an argument going on. Sorry, Lily, but we're busy. But what are you arguing about? As I said, Lily, this is a thing between adults. But I'm 14 now. I'm not a kid anymore. I hate to say it again, sweetie, but it really is not your business. Seriously. That's not fair. How dare you do this to me? Lily, you'd better knock it off. Get inside now. All right then. What is the matter? I will be honest. I can't run my business anymore. It's effortless. So you're giving up already? If I am honest, I find such an action cowardly. I'm dead serious. What would you do in this situation? It's not like, well, I'm still second. No, I'm simply losing too much. Good question, but giving up ain't the answer. I honestly would miss you as a contender. I don't think you would. What makes you think that? You'll just be happy to have even more fans then. Gee, that's a strong argument. I believe the main problem is that you have always been looking rather for welfare in so-called democracy than for liberty and success. Face it man, you wanted to remain a prisoner to the establishment instead of working hard without regret and compromise. Oh, so you again accuse me of being a political analphabet? Gee, now you're putting words into my mouth again. How about you let me explain? Forget it. All I can say is that I have no interest in being your partner. Never! What about your family? You gotta feed them, like it or not. Money's nothing to be played around with. No matter how much we have, it still is to be treated carefully. Yeah, I understand. Now you see me as a loser again. I don't see you as a loser. I simply want to offer you a chance. So, so I can work for you. If you promised not to work against me. Well, I bet I can improve your business by miles. He who laughs the last didn't get it. Fine. I will try my best to help you and I will listen to you. Then we will meet on Monday morning at 8 o'clock, okay? Okay. Now the story seems to become very interesting. Will Pat and Jeff be getting along? That's a good question. I wonder if I can trust Jeff. We've been rivals for years, and now we are supposed to cooperate. On the other hand, I do need to give him a chance. I shouldn't duck it till I try. Besides, I do need some new staff, so why not? Yeah? Um, hey dad. What's it, Damon? Remember when Dave was here yesterday? Not so quick, Damon. Come in if you want to talk to me. Hey! You look really worried, son. Here a quick note. Since Damon has autism, it is difficult for him to control his emotions. So you are worried because of Dave Muller? To be honest, yes. Listen to me. I understand that you are, but there's nothing to worry about. Keep in mind that I just had a discussion with his father. Really? What? Was it about? Well, he is having serious fanatical problems and we decided to cooperate. Okay. Didn't you hate each other's? Well, we are supposed to give everyone a chance as long as they are being honest. But still, what about Dave? Are you really afraid that he could do something to us? Don't worry. Even if he tries to, do you really think he will get away with it? 
Will his father not recognize it? Looks like you need some father and son time. How about we go to the park? Are you feeling better now? Yes. Good to know. Oh, hi, Pat. And hi, Damon. Hi there, Mike. Nice to see you. Mike 12 is Eugene's father. He is a gym teacher. How y'all doing? Doing well. Reminds me of the good old days. When y'all actually went out to see friends. Nowadays you have Skype, WhatsApp and Facebook. But I prefer being old school. So do I. Haha. <laughs> is that why you love selling and fixing used cars? Talking about that, I think you remember Jeff. Yeah, you mention him a little too often. I don't want to hear it again. You calling him your main contender and how much you love defeating him. Seriously. Not anymore. We actually work together now. What? Wow, I'm surprised. Looks like even better times are coming up for you. Yeah, kind of. Can the same thing be said about you? Sadly not necessarily. My class still refuses to stop behaving like a bunch of marins, at least the majority. And my 18-year-old daughter Stephanie wants me to be vegetarian. Oh really? I'll always say, becoming vegetarian is a big mistake. <laughs> yeah, if she wants to be, fine. But her 15-year-old sister Dawn has a lot to disagree with her, and so do I. To each his own. Kendra is 18 too, and she says she couldn't imagine being vegetarian. Is on her own. Yeah, you're right. Nowadays being political correct is a must. Hey Damon. Yeah, Dad. What's it? Don't you agree that Mike is a good guy? Yes. How about we eat there for lunch? Sure thing. Damon, what do you want to eat? I choose a spicy deluxe sandwich along with waffle potato fries and a DR pepper. Well, I think I choose the grilled nuggets, mac and cheese and a nice tea. Hey Patrick. Long time no see. Wow. Mark. Haven't quite seen you in a while. How ya doing? I'm doing awesome. Today something great happened to my company. What? Another one of Houston's big car dealers, Jeff Muller, had to go through financial troubles and now had no choice but to start a cooperation with me. Wow, that's great for you to hear. And that boy behind you is your son, isn't he? Yeah, it's my middle son, Damon. Okay, and by the way, for whom will you vote in 2020? I honestly will vote for Trump since I don't buy the accusations of racism against him. I don't want to have open borders. I would have been with a libertarian party, but ever since Ron Paul left, this party has turned into a joke. So yeah, I'm with you. Then you're voting for a total crap. Why support a party that despises foreigners and advocates all those mass shootings? And here goes another argument from a random liberal. Seriously. If you don't like America, you don't gotta live here. Oh, you as a black man support Trump? I would say I can support whoever I want. I know you now try to compare Trump to Hitler, but I never seen or heard anything from Trump that goes against Jews or blacks like me. Actually Hillary is a greater racist since she sees black people as super predators. She never said such thing. Then try to tell me what she said then sir also, I have to inform you that the Nazis were socialist. No they were not. Oh really? But they were national socialists. And if that is not socialism, what is it then? Plus, Hitler was against free speech, free market, private ownership and for gun control. You must be really stupid if you think guns were good. You mean because of all those mass shootings, eh? I got news for you, there are more car crashes than mass shootings happening a month. So according to your logic we must bank cars. Now let's get home. Okay dad. It was a cool forenoon, 
including eating at Chick-fil-A for lunch. Nuclear science. I love my classes. I got a crazy teacher. He wears dark glasses. Things are going great. And they're only getting better. I'm doing all right. Getting good grades. The future's so bright. I got a wish. What should we do next now that we're home? I ain't got a clue. What? Seriously? That is unbelievable. Was, was that your mother's voice? Seems so. Let's get inside. What's going on here? I just found out that Kendra got an E in her latest maths exam. Is that not bad? Okay, I thought something worse happened. Something bad doesn't have to be betraying something. Such a grade is unacceptable. Now let's calm down everybody. We have such a nice day today and I do not wish any drama to be caused. Allow me to be confused. Well, your mother is acting as if it was the end of the world. I'm sorry, Daddy. It most certainly is bad, but can happen. We will be discussing it later. But your graduation is in jeopardy. But I had a B last time. Yes, you did. Still, it's not to be taken lightly. Catherine, you forgot that you failed to graduate too. Yeah, but that was because the German school system is far more difficult than the American one. Yeah, but the good news were that you still became an exchange student in 95. Yeah, I remember. Otherwise, we wouldn't have met and none of us would be here now. Is it just me or have you just switched the subject? Yeah, that's true. So what now? We should forget about your failed test and move on. Sweetie, I promise you ought to help you prepare better next time. Thanks, Dad. But I do see it as a big deal. I don't want to start an argument now. If I am honest, I am rather worried about other things. Like? Being controlled. There's nearly only bullshit on TV those days. I only feel comfortable watching Fox News and some mobile sports series. I understand what you mean. It's best to get rid of all of that crap. Same with the newspapers. The only thing I find it good to use for is wiping my butt. Yeah, that's right. Patrick and Joseph. Well, that's just typical for men. Yeah, you're right, sweetie. Even though this actually was not that bad, because it is the truth. Seriously? Do I now have three conspiracy theorists in my house? Okay, okay. Sorry kids, but it's time to call Deno I suppose. Okay, but let's continue to discuss when we're out of any woman's sight. Maybe that's the reason why Ben loves me so much. Just kidding. Now tell me Lord. Is this really my family? Well, there are times your mother loves to overreact. I will discuss with her later on. But actually want to have peace today. Yeah, but where's Damon? You just had been on a trip to the park with him. Here I am folks. What was this argument about? Well, Damon, that's a pretty weird story. How about a trip to the park? We already been there. Then how about somewhere in the wilderness? You mean somewhere in Piney Woods, bro? Not exactly since that's a bit too far northbound. I would have preferred to go to the beach, but I don't mind much anyways. All I need is to get out of all that crap for a while. Now come on everybody. I believe we will find the right place for everyone. But whatever it is, I would want it to be a family trip. But then you were forgetting about Diamond Lily and Mom. Yeah, that's right. So what now? I'm getting confused again. No need to. It's lunchtime now, the best time to have a discussion with her. Excuse me for a bit, kids. Good grief! What type of family is that? Is it really those one I created? What's it now? Kath, how about a trip on this nice Saturday afternoon? With this family? I'm not sure. Honey, now you are exaggerating. We were just goofing around. I just hate it when you get into some stupid conspiracy theories about television. I will not be getting into that now, but fact is that we are a family and we should spend more time together. Fine. With that I indeed agree. Where would you like to go? I think I would love to go to the beach. Fine. But I need to tell something first that will concern you more than me. What? It's your older brother Nick's 48th birthday tomorrow. 
Dang, I forgot about that. Sadly, me and Nick don't really got along. But he's my brother even after all. And I don't want my family to be divided. I most certainly agree there too. But I still want to enjoy this day. Nevertheless, a brother's birthday should not be seen as a Briton. For your family it may be more prolific since they still live in Germany. Tackling about that, we will now switch to Nick's house. I just pray that Pat and his family won't come to my birthday. Nick Elmer Hamilton, do you really want to exclude Pat and your family? We just don't get along. That's not the way it's supposed to be. You're right Sharon, but even when I am related to someone it doesn't mean I per se getting along. Him along with Joe and Kendra are strange people. They say they stopped celebrating their birthdays. Seriously. What about Kimberly? Kim's coming, which is okay. Oh, and here we have Neil, their 17-year-old son and fourth of six children. Hi son, I hope you learned for your physics test on Monday. I did, don't worry. Anyways, I had a Facebook discussion with Jay Muller this morning. I thought you left Facebook. So did your elder siblings. But why are you telling us? What's it all about? Well, his dad now decided to do a joint. A joy, or something like that with Uncle Patrick. Uh what? Sharon, he seems to mean a joint venture. Since Pat himself is a businessman just like me, but not as good as me. Not as good as you. He is more successful with his used car dealership than you with your forward agency. Your only remaining driver is Peter Armstrong. Yes, because he is a pretty faithful guy. But anyways Neil, you know that Jeff is the father of Dave, don't you? Looks like he had to declare insolvency, or he was just sick of always being second, haha. -ha. Anyways, Dave told me that he doesn't he want his dad to be a loser. He seems to be really upset. And me, am I a loser? Honey, didn't he you want to go to the grocery? Yep, I forgot. I however gotta call Kimberly first. Hi bro. I know it's your birthday tomorrow, but we're also at a birthday today. Just a little side note. The birthday Kimberly Balkan is talking about is the birthday of Adrian Johnson. Adrian is the son of Susan. The twin sister of Kim's husband Glenn. Sadly we cannot decide our birthdays. But anyways, have you heard of what our bro did? You mean his company? Sure, he wrote me on WhatsApp this morning. Neil says he believes something bad will happen. Does he? Silly him. Pat and Mr. Muller may have been rivals once but times change. Okay, I gotta get to the store now. Bye. Bye. And here we have Adriana, Susan and Paul's 19-year-old and oldest daughter. And Kim, it is lunchtime now. The pasta are done. I'm coming. And you said that Patrick is now cooperating with that other big car dealer he used to have huge feuds with? Correct. However, you know what is strange? What? Nick also said that Neil is now worried that Mr. Muller could try to get an ugly revenge on Pat. Nonsense. I wouldn't call it nonsense. I don't think that two can really mix if they don't really agree. I'm in agreement with you, buddy. Gee, why do you men always have to see the negative? I think sometimes we all must work together. Sure, it's important to work together. But we most certainly cannot work together with everyone. There will always be enemies, like it or not history confirms this. Seriously honey? Why do you have to compare the past to here and now? Let's just wait what will happen. Fair enough. I think I forgot to bring the laundry upstairs. Then hold on, I'll bring it upstairs for you, before I go outside to work in the garden. That's nice, but not needed. Strange. Usually she always loves to be helped, haha. <laughs> Time for a bathroom break. Looks like she forgot to bring the laundry inside the bedroom.
Is the air clean, honey? Yes, my husband's in the garden. What? No. This can't be.